Hello, hello, it's me, Dan. Welcome to, uh, welcome to June 15th. Welcome to my video for June 15th. If you're watching this, if you're watching the premiere, uh, hopefully we're all chatting away over there. Um, and you might be wondering why have I started with Big Face Sedan? I never start with Big Face Sedan. I always start with the game. Well, the reason for that is because we're doing something a little bit different today. Which of course you already know about if you watch the previous video or if you read the description to this video. Or if you saw the title card, I'm sure, right? We're doing something today called Game Boy Roulette. Because I realized that in the past year or so, I've purchased a lot of, uh, a lot of new retro games. New, new for me, anyway. Uh, of course, they're old games, but they're new to me. Um, and a lot of them have been Game Boy games. So I'm going to play a little bit of each one that I, that I, that I've, uh, that I've purchased in the last year or so uh, today for this video. We're going to play about 15 to 20 minutes each. This video will probably be around two and a half hours long around there and so just to quickly go through the games that I have and I've been purchasing these as I travel as I've been lucky to travel around the world this past year and I don't exactly remember where I got each one uh, all of them anyway so I've got uh, uh, Batman the animated series I think I got this one I don't remember where I got this one um, maybe in uh, Italy maybe I can't remember uh, Star Trek the next sorry Star Trek Generations uh, Beyond the Nexus, I got that one. I got RoboCop 2, which I just got in K. <coughs> Excuse me, I just got in KL. <coughs> Spider-Man X-Men uh, Arcade Revenge, again, I also just got in uh, in KL. And actually, this one, um, I have the Genesis version of, of it as well. I assume it's going to play fairly similar to that. Uh, Superman, uh, which I definitely got in Italy. This one I did get in Italy. Uh, the Amazing Spider-Man, which I also got in Italy. Uh, Adventure Island, which I got, I don't remember where, must be Italy, probably also Italy, uh, or maybe Germany even, I can't remember, man, Tiny Toon Adventures, Babs Big Break, I don't remember where I got that one, and uh, Mickey Mouse 2, uh, which is actually the Japanese version of Bugs Bunny 2, uh, as it was released in the US and I believe also Europe, it's the same game, it's a puzzle, puzzle platformer. Uh, but in Japan we got Mickey Mouse. In the U.S. we got uh, we got Bugs Bunny. The vagaries of the vagaries of uh, of uh, of what of territorial rights, right? So we're going to be playing this on. Let me show you real quick. Boom. We're going to be playing this on the Retron Five, right? Because I have all all these are, are uh, physical games. So obviously I'm going to have to keep going back and forth between the Retron Five uh, to to put the games in. But how will we be choosing which game we're going to play? Well. Uh, let me show you a little bit behind the uh, behind the uh, uh, hold on because I, I realize I did not do this properly okay here we go <laughs> a little bit behind the uh, the scenes here so first you're gonna see oh no there's my all of my my um, quick quick look at all my all my all my OBS uh, stuff but there we go okay here we go so this is what we're looking at. This is a, a wheel decide. <coughs> um, it will spin the wheel and see what we're gonna get first. Okay, so let me spin the wheel. What are we playing first? Boom. We are gonna play Batman the Animated Series, it looks like. So that's what we're playing first. So um, we will, oh, now we're back here. So let me go back here, there we go. And we put in Batman the Animated Series, which was the first game, there it is. So let me get up real quick and put this into the into the Retron 5. Uh, I will continue talking. You may be able to hear me or not. I don't know. So here we go. Let's put that in. All these games should work. I tested them before. What? Why are you saying unknown cartridge? See, sometimes the Retron 5, there it is, can be a little bit obnoxious. So I the only time I played any of these games is to test them when I first got them, right? So you can see there that, like, you know, I, I am somewhere. But we're gonna reset and start from the beginning. So here we go. Again, we're gonna play this for about 15, 20 minutes and then move on to the next game, right? So we're doing Game Boy Roulette. <coughs> Excuse me. Hopefully I took, yes, I did, good. So this, growing up, this was one of my favorite cartoons and in fact is probably the best Batman cartoon and maybe the best Batman not comic uh, available still. Batman Mask of the Phantasm is the best Batman movie, bar none. 
Although I haven't seen some of the later uh, animated Batman stuff either, so maybe maybe another one needed. Who knows? Okay, look at this that music. They did a really good job. This is basically the opening uh, title sequence of Batman the Animated Series, but like in 8-bit Game Boy form, right? All these games, of course, will be in black and white because Game Boy, right? I didn't add any of the Game Boy Color or Game Boy Advance games into this mix because then we'd be here all day. And I don't want to be here all day. So I've heard from Eugene that this is a very, very difficult game. Uh, but then I heard from L that it's actually not that difficult at all. So we'll f I'll probably find it very difficult. If Eugene finds it difficult, I'll probably find it difficult. Because Eugene's better at these things than I am. Haha! -ha! Here's a cute, fuzzy, exploding bear for all the people of Gotham City. The people of Gotham City will be bursting with laughter by tomorrow morning. Is this the Joker? Sounds like the Joker. Let's see that winged freak try to save them all. Ha 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 ha, look at the Joker. Hey Batman, let the people know who's really in control of in Gotham City. I know you can hear me, Batman. Ha ha ha. Or rather, ha ha. There's only two ha's there. You're going back to Arkham Asylum, Joker. So I obviously I can't do either uh, Kevin Conroy, R.I.P. Or, um, or Luke Skywalker, whose real name I've suddenly forgotten. All right, so here we go. Okay, that's punch. That's jump. That's it. Oh, God. Ah, okay. This music is excellent. down at all so let me go back presumably I have to go down as well as up this guy's punch real hard there it is so I gotta find all the teddy bears in this level basically blow up before they're delivered. Stop punching me. Can I do like a... I can't. I can jump up real high. Not high enough. Do I have a... I mean, there's no other button here that I can use. Right? <laughs> what is that? Why is he posing? I don't know. Is he blocking? What is going on here? I don't know. Aha! I knew there was a... Okay, and then... Aha! Okay, okay. I understand. Okay. And I'm not Spider-Man, so I can't, like, walk from <laughs> Alright, so we have to go back to get back up. Presumably. Or I'm not using the grappling hook correctly. No, here we go. Okay. Oh, no, we can't. Uh-oh. Really? How about like this? recently said in a stream uh, it's cheating to read the uh, to read the instruction booklet before you play the game so I don't read them uh, but it's not cheating to use safe space or uh, or anything like that I'm about to die need some bat help. So 
trick is to let them come to me. Ah! That was not that helpful. I don't know what that is. What is that? Oh, it's a battering. Okay. And I can get it by doing uh, select. Part one done. The wall jumping is serviceable. It's not great though. But obviously it does work. Oh, oh he killed me. He blew me up with the teddy bear. Damn. How many lives do I get? Yes, please. How many continues do I get? I can, uh, oh, I don't have any more. Boo. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Okay. either later the grappling hook seems to only be useful in very uh, very specific situations ow man oh hello oh I thought you were going to squish me I really thought you were going to squish me there for a second There's spikes down there. Don't go down there, Batman. How do I get up there? Ah, interesting. Okay. Ah. Oh, he killed me again. Oh, there was a heart right there. Fuck. All right, so unlimited continues, right? <laughs> uh, all right. Another couple of minutes for this game. See if I can. What, what are you doing? Hey, man. Uh oh. Hold on. doing weird things. How do I turn you off? Alright, hold on, hold on. Return to main menu. Uh, settings. My, my controller went crazy. Uh, I'm not playing Genesis. I'm playing Game Boy. Yes, thank you. Uh, okay. 
Not that that is going to help anything, but you know, just in case. Well, still doing weird things. Why? Why are you doing this to me, game? Hold on, hold on. Sorry, guys. Let me, uh... Hold on, hold on. I can do... Okay, hold on. I can do this. Let me, uh... Save this state. Okay, because I'm going to have to turn off, turn this off and then turn... Oh, and then turn it back on. I think. Hold on. Sorry about that. I don't know why controllers just went crazy. It's not like I'm holding down the left button or anything, and it's clearly working fine. Now, if I restart, if I restarted the game, the joke's on you, episode. Nice, no, still doing it. Hmm. All right. Hold on. Okay, let's turn the power off. So it's going to shut down, but don't worry, I'm going to turn it back on. Uh, and then try to play this a little bit more. Okay, let me let me go back up to turn it on. Hopefully that'll fix the controller issue. Hopefully that'll fix the controller issue. That was weird. That's never happened to me on this controller before. I'm using a uh, an 8-bit Do SN30 Pro Plus, uh, which it's got the uh, Super Nintendo configuration, but it looks like the uh, it looks like a PS1 controller. Uh, let's see if that fixes it. I hope so. Okay. Uh, all right, let's play. Now let's very quickly uh, load the state. Excellent, okay, that did fix it. That was weird, I don't know why I did that. So that means I can jump down here then. Ah. Don't know why I want to do that, but well, I guess because there used to be a, a box or something there, right? Before I killed it. Oh, all the guys that I killed stay dead. So that's cool. Hopefully, it does have unlimited continues because. I'm gonna need them. Oh, hello. Oh, come on, Batman. Learn to jump. Obviously, this is all Batman's. He's the one who trained his body to perfection, not me. Yeah, I'm liking this, they all stay dead thing. So, literally, it's just my stupidity and whether or not I lose hearts. Just like like that. For fuck's sake, Batman. There we go. Oh, we'll take it. Okay, wow, we're in a hole. Okay.
interesting. Little, little like this. Oh, hey, there's a, there's more uh, bat. Oh wait, ah. Is there a timer? No, right. Fuck's sake, Batman, jump. Yeah. Oh, god damn it. If I turn these on. Aha! Alright, that's cool. I probably shouldn't be uh, wasting them. Oh, sorry. It's right there. <laughs> okay! I feel like I'm getting to the end. Like, to the end of this level. That's the one thing I always forget about these old games. Like, running jumps don't exist. <laughs> but I always try to do a running jump. Sometimes he seems to jump. Wait, what? See, see. I don't understand. Like, if you let him slide down a bit, he actually jumps further, which is very odd. It's a weird way of jumping to me. Like that makes zero sense to me, right? Like he should be able to. It's like you're taking a running jump, but off the slidey wall. And that makes zero sense to me. Am I pressing the wrong thing? Oh, I understand. The, the... 
I had to keep pressing towards the wall. I was I was uh, pressing the opposite button too early. press towards the wall until at much you know like uh, until I complete the jump basically but sometimes I go to the other side too quickly like I've just I've been conditioned to like do it quick right but here I have to hold down towards the wall oh no okay I see what I'm doing oh god these, these jumps are hard This is like a, a Mega Man like pre pre boss room room. <laughs> and I was right. There's the Joker. Oh no. Oh fuck off! Some of these blow up immediately. I thought I had time. Oh, I don't have. Uh... All right, well. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> it turns out that I do not have, um, that I do not have unlimited continues. That's okay. So that was Batman the Animated Series. So let's remove that from the wheel so we don't get it again. Uh, let's modify my wheel. Apply the wheel changes, please. Okay. So now let's go back to this screen. There we go. Okay. So. That now no longer has Batman the Animated Series, correct? Correct. Okay, so let's spin it again. What are we playing now? Of course, let's play Superman. So I've heard that this Superman game is actually not very good. Uh, and in fact, it's made by the same folks who made um, who made the Superman 64 game for Nintendo 64, which is also not good. Or so I've heard. That was immediate. Good. Here we go. So this this Superman, I got this in uh, in. Uh, oh, I forgot to push back too. There it is. This Superman game I got in uh, in Italy. This was was in Italy, and this was I think the one in Milan when I found that one shop that was way outside of Milan, and uh, Felicia joined me, and we took like a day trip out there, and she had a great shop. All right, Superman. Whoa, why is this in color? That's weird. Why is this in color? This was a this is a Game Boy game. Is this like a weird Game Boy, Game Boy, Super Game Boy thing? Oh, I see. <laughs> it's got its own little, um... You hear a call for help, but it is a trap. Defeat the Shadow Walkers. You have four keys to find. Ready, stage one. All right, this is smaller. Okay, dicey now. All right. So that's a punch. Ow. What? Why are bullets hurting? Oh, I see. I can, uh... Oh, weird. I have to hold down... Oops, that hurts. Why, do you... Why does everything hurt Superman? Oh. Oh, there's a key. Go to recover your energy at the Fortress of Solitude. Okay, so he doesn't die. Oh, I have five credits, though. I see that now. Alright, we'll go through our credits. I don't understand. And 
these things, what are these things? Can I punch them? They hurt, whatever they are. I can't punch them. Not without getting hurt first, though, apparently. This is very odd. That is the first key. Then again, I don't know how to avoid the bullets. Also, this is again much smaller on my screen. All right, well, we'll, we'll use up all the, all the. Uh... See, that first shot is always gonna get me, no matter what. Can I punch the bullets? three keys. That's way more than uh, than we had before. This game is not very good. <laughs> like, the fact, like, I don't understand. Am I supposed to just punch immediately? Yeah, I can punch the bullets back. That's a weird mechanic, but alright. That is three keys. I need only one more. There it is. Are we done? I can't believe I can punch the, uh, the bullets back. Oh, okay. Well done, Superman! Yay! I beat the first level. That wasn't hard. It was just kind of... Okay, once I figured out, you can punch the bullets back. As you watch over Metropolis, the invaders begin their attack. You have two keys to find. Okay. We're just finding keys, is it? Is that all we're doing? Oh. This one is, uh, must stay airborne. Oops. <laughs> Alright, I have to stay airborne in this one. You have quit the fight. No, I didn't. I just fell. Apparently Superman has to... No! Get up! Jesus! Oh, it's auto scroll some more. If it's auto. Is that a key? If it's auto scroll, how the f am I supposed to find the keys? Nobody quit the damn fight. All right, well. We don't have very many left. Uh, credits. I guess I just stay up here. at the end so you couldn't miss that no matter what you did okay good that's two levels done investigate LexCore warehouse and battle the Lex Lexo scale 5000 you have two keys to find good I don't know how many stages this is but it's apparently just find the keys Can't 
climb up these stairs. I uh, uh, stairs. These ladders. I just had to fly up. Well, there's one key. This is the last, uh, the last, uh, thing I have. Oh, I can fly up there, you know. Oh, no. Dude, that sucked. Stop shooting me. to do that. whatever. Ow! I wanted to see the Lex robot. Damn it. I think that's it. I think we're done. Yep, game over. Oh well. Okay, that once I figured out that you could punch the bullets, I think I might come back to this at some point. Because uh, that actually wasn't too bad once I figured out that you had to punch that you had to punch bullets, right? Alright, let's uh, let's remove Superman from my wheel. Boink. Apply changes. Uh, oh, hold on. Ah, okay. And uh, there we go. All right, what are we going to do next? Spin the wheel! It is Tiny Toon Adventures, Babs Big Break. So let's do that. Uh, where are you, Tiny Toon Adventures? There you are. Maybe you should put this aside since I did it already. Oh, I did put it aside. Where'd it go? Oh, it's over there. Good. I'm, I'm smart already. I already put things in other places so that I don't get mixed up. All right. I don't remember where I got this game. There we go. Babs Big Break. I think I still play as Buster, though, not as Babs in this game. Uh, I can't remember where or when I picked this one up. Uh, well, that's me dying, so we're just going to reset the game. Because, again, I, was, I, was, I played these just to make sure that they worked. Here you go. Babs Big Break. Hey, it's a Konami game. Remember when Konami used to make new games? Those were the days. 
So apparently, right, obviously in the old cartoon, the original Tiny Toon Adventure cartoon, uh, the, there was a running gag where Babs and Buster would be like, you know, I'm Buster Bunny, I'm Babs Bunny, no relation, right? They had no... But in the new Tiny Toon Adventures, which I've not seen at all, they are in fact siblings. They're Babs and Buster Bunny, and they are siblings. Babs is dreaming about becoming, which is a bit odd, an actress. She is daydreaming that she has great courage, intelligence, and power. Yes, I am dreaming about becoming a star. Even though I have natural excuse me, acting talent, I still should study acting. So let's study acting and get into the theater as soon as possible. Hey, did you hear what Babs said? That's Plucky, that's Buster, and that's Hampton J. Pig. Yes, I did. She'll make a great actress. But if she travels by herself, we don't know what she'll do. Maybe we should follow her and Make sure she doesn't get into trouble. Okay, so there, there. That's why we're playing as Buster. Hey, now that I think about uh, it, I assume. Now I think about it. I'm hungry. All right. Here you go. Okay, so that was the story of the game. Okay, let's begin to be a good actress. To be a good actress, you need two things. Talent and luck. But even these aren't enough when someone puts a mountain in your path. Luckily, I have friends like Dizzy Devil to help me out. So let's get to it. Yay, Buster. So this, so far, this is playing a lot like, like the, I can't remember if it was NES or SNES one. A lot of fruits, huh? Oh, okay, those are throwable, got it. Jump on? Yes, I can. Good. Oh, no. Only have two hearts. Damn. Oh, good. Ah! Not an anvil. Shit. I don't know what's more important, the fruit or the diamonds? Or are they equally important? Okay. I need hearts again. I see that down arrow. I'll come back to it. to play Montana Mash? Uh, yes. Would you like the rules? Yes. Use the plus button to move. Bop with the A button. Bon not the plus button, sorry, the uh, directional pad. Bonus for 100 points. Okay, let's go. So what do I do? Oh. That's 
it. Your score is 190 points. I will give you a present. Thanks. Would you like to quit? Yes. Alright. Well, so it wasn't gambling so much as it was just... Oops. I should have done that. What's down here, then? I was expecting the other one as well. Are you a mosquito? What are you? Ooh, thank you. Oh, yes, please. Thank you. So, is it besides the carrots, which are adding up, are the other fruits just for points? Hungry. Bye bye, girl. Okay, there you go. So you had to find Dizzy before he, that would happen, obviously. Obviously, that wasn't hard to find Dizzy, but yeah. Oh, wow. 
Wow, that's the... Okay. Is that an exit? Or is that the... Huh. Is that a special thing? That's... Okay, I guess we're going up there. Do you want to race? Sure. Would you like the rules? Yes. Press A and B continuously to run. If you do not press A and B, you will walk. Okay. Who do you want to race with? Uh, sweetie, I guess. Not little people. I will give you a present. That's one up. Would you like to quit? Yes. Alright, not bad, not bad. That was kind of cool. from the places that you go. That's kind of cool. Oh, no. No, no, no. I only got one heart left. We need more hearts. Ah! Oh, way back here. What? All right. Well, you know what? Let's, uh, let's stop here. We're, we'll, uh, we'll save this. We'll save this day. Okay, so Buster throws the carrots, Plucky throws the pineapples, and Hampton throws the watermelons. I understand now. I get it. All right. All right. But anyway, that's enough of that. That's enough Tiny Toon Adventures. All right, so let me let me set up my wheel here. Let's remove Tiny Toon Adventures. Where's Tiny Toon Adventures? There it is. Fab Super. That is fun. I, I will be playing more of that uh, for sure. Um, because that was actually quite fun. All right. So let's uh, play this. I like this, right? Because it's like, it's so many. It's, it's, I get progressively smaller. <laughs> All right, spin the wheel. What's next? Star Trek Generations Beyond the Nexus. All right. Oops. That was the wrong thing to press. Whoop. There it is. You, you, you very quickly saw my desktop. Don't, don't, don't look at my desktop. Uh, okay, so, uh, Star Trek Beyond the Nexus. That's next. All right, give me a second. I don't know how this game's going to play, actually. I think it has, like, five different, or th five, three different kinds of, uh, oh, no, it says unknown cartridge. My bad. Hold on.
not do Star Trek, or maybe we'll try it again later if we've got some time at the end. I'll leave it on the wheel, but let's do uh, let's do a different one, uh, the wheel here. Let me see. Uh, spin it again. All right, Amazing Spider-Man. So we'll do we'll try Amazing Spider-Man. I'll leave I'll leave Star Trek on there for now and see if we can't try to make it work uh, later. Oh come on. All of these worked before. Why are you being a jerk? This is this is 100% the Retron 5 by the way guys, not the game themselves. Um, it just does this sometimes. Which is extremely annoying. Oh, what the hell was that? There it is. That was weird. Okay, well, it did work this time. That was very strange that it did that. I don't know why it did that. All right, let's uh, let's play Amazing Spider-Man. All right, let's uh, reset it. Okay, here we go. This is this is an LJN game, Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, so is the Spider-Man X-Men, by the way. That we'll be playing a little bit later. Press start. Hello, Parker residents. Why are you wearing? Don't pretend with me. I know who you are, Spider-Man. Recognize my voice? Sure, I'd know that electronic gargle anywhere. Fishbowl face. Well done, webhead. But cut the wisecracks if you ever want to see Mary Jane again. What have you done with her? Where is she? You better not hurt her. Don't threaten me, wall crawler. We'll discuss this in the alleyway if you make it. Don't worry about me, dome brain. I'll be in your face so fast it'll pop your plexi. All right, so Mysterio somehow knows uh, Spider-Man's identity. Look at look at that sprite. <laughs> the alleyway. Hurts. Don't stand right next to the smoke in there. Oh no, I died. Oh, so close. All right, let's try that again. Yes, continue. Ooh, 
right where I left off. Yay! Mysterious was defeated. Bullhead didn't tell me much. Who's this? Crawl up to the roof and meet your doom, Spider-Man. Is that Prowler? When I'm through with you, Pumpkin Brain, oh no, Screen Goblin, you'll never trick or treat again, or maybe Hobgoblin even. Hobgoblin. Most amusing, but I'll have the last laugh, Web Slinger. Don't count on it, Gobby. I'm on my way. Truly Hobgoblin. Oh, I see, okay. Ooh, ah! That's cool. Basically move when the... got a lot harder. Oh my god. Oh. Ah! Oh, in over there. I'm going, I'm going. Wait, why won't you... Why? Why can't I go in? Oh, I had to jump. Christ. This sprite, this sprite is amazing. I love this sprite. Oh, I died. That was a death. Exactly where we left off, please. Yes. Please be unlimited. the root tops what am I swinging onto also how do I make the webs come Appear. I don't understand. Ah. Ouch. Oh, I 
I died. Unlimited continues? I think it's unlimited continues, guys. This actually isn't that hard, huh? Still missing. What now? Care for a subway ride? Maybe you'll make it to the last stop. This is, this is Scorpion. This must be Scorpion. Don't worry about me, Tail Twirler. Your sting isn't strong enough to stop old Spidey. <laughs> that is some art. Big talk, Big Mouth. Let's see you back it up. That, that, that Scorpion is rude. Stay there, Scorpion. I'll be on the next train. That Scorpion is ludicrous. up there. I don't know how to get to them. God. After this, uh, I'll probably, unless I get to, unless I get to Scorpion. like to beat Scorpion. Oh no! Dang! Alright, well, A. J. L. Alright. Well, that was fun. I got all the way to, uh, I got all the way to, uh, to Scorpion, third level. All right, let's remove Amazing Spider-Man, and we'll try again. Oops, apply the wheel changes. There we go. All right. Uh, there we go. Spin the wheel. If it's Star Trek again, we'll give it another shot, but it is Star Trek, so let's give Star Trek another shot. If it doesn't work this time, I will take it off. Let's give it a shot. Oh. Because I promise, I promise you, all of these games worked before in the Retron 5. But it's, it's, it's sometimes the Retron 5 is just a bit squirrely. This will probably, you know what, if I had played on my, um, on my uh, pocket, my analog pocket instead, this would probably be no problem. No, you know what? Let's 
very quickly, since I have it here, we're gonna we're gonna do a different game. Uh, I'm gonna remove um, Star Trek because it's it's clearly not working on the um, on the uh, on the thing here. Oh, hold on. Okay, so I removed it there. So let's let's do another one. And it's gonna be Adventure Island, so we'll try Adventure Island. But before we do that, before we do that, um, I do have my pocket here, so let me put that. Let me put Star Trek into the pocket, uh, just to make, just to you know, prove to you that it does work. And I don't know why the Retron Five is being a butt. <laughs> Let's turn it on first. <gasps> is it not? Is there no battery? Oh, there it is. Okay. It's like, is there no battery? Have I not? All right. So let me put it in here. So it's in there, you can see it in there. Actually, I should uh, let me go to Big Dan real fast. So you can see it a little bit better. All right, so you can see the cartridge is there, right? And uh, it does say Star Trek Generate. You can, it's hard to read here because it is, it does say Star Trek Generations uh, Beyond the Nexus. And if I press play, there it is. See, it does work. It's the Retron 5. So the Retron 5 sometimes doesn't play nice with certain games. And I, you know what? I'm thinking I probably tested Star Trek on the um, on the on the the pocket, and then that's why I realized. Okay, that's why I was like, okay, it works. And then I just never tried it on the Retron Five, but it does definitely work. There it is. Um, so yeah, but I'm not gonna play this while you watch me play it because that doesn't make any sense. So uh, let me quit the cartridge, take it out, because it does work. Like I said. And let me turn off the pocket. I'll probably will be taking the pocket with me to Korea, so that if I do buy any um, any Game Boy games, I can immediately test them, which is what I like to do. So we got Adventure Island, you said, right? So yeah, let me put Adventure Island on there. That should work as well. Oh, for fuck's sake, Retron Five. There we go. Okay. There we go. Sometimes it's just like I said. Sometimes it's just like it's like it's fiddly it's fiddly like an original nintendo is and so when you put in the different um the different uh cartridges you got to put them in a different way in order for it to work all right all right so here we go adventure island for the game boy whoops i haven't put the, hold on Oop, there we go <laughs> i forgot to put on the uh all right, uh, select item. I have no item. Press start. There we go. Whee, that's jump. That's all I have right now. Jump. Oh, no. All right, so don't touch the things. Got it. This isn't Mario. points Yeah. 
Oh, come on, I hit that stupid frog. spot I died again. Is that it? Oh. Can I continue? Or am I done? I can continue. Or will I just continue in the same exact spot? Yep. <laughs> Let's see if we can keep we can keep to this guy. This first level is very easy, not a problem. Whoops. This time I only chose a hundred instead of a thousand. I think that is a timer down there. But getting fruits um, makes it go up. Ah! What? How did that happen? Oh, 
Do a save state. There we go. Uh, but we will we will go to the next game. Uh, so let me see here. What's okay? So we've got to remove Adventure Island. Not a lot of games left, including the three newest ones that I've got. That's weird. <laughs> the one that I got in Sharjah and the one that I got the two that I got in uh, KL. Uh, all right. Let's see here. Okay. Oh, I got to go back to. There we go. Boom. Mickey Mouse, that's the one I got in Sharjah. Maybe these maybe these games all went in uh, in order. <laughs> all right, let me put Mickey Mouse 2 in there. Easy peasy. All right. Easy peasy lemon 
and squeezy. Okay. So yeah, I picked this one up in charge. It was one of the two games I got in charge. The other one was a Transformers game uh, called something of the convoy. So again, this is the Japanese version. In the US, it was Bugs Bunny. It was Bugs Bunny themed, but it's the exact same game. I don't know who gets kidnapped in the Bugs Bunny game. Again, this is, uh, the US version is what's funny, it's the exact same game. Password is test, by the way. Alright, now there's new things to do. Oh, that was dumb. Oh, I got lucky. So once you go in through the door, Pick up the key. The door remains open to tell you you've already done this. Which is nice, you know? But I did miss one all the way back there. That's fine, we'll go back later. So I don't know how to... He was still there. 
there. Woo! Alright, try that again. So obviously these puzzles get harder, right? guy left uh, down below. I only left one behind me. Now, how do I get on this? No, that wasn't it. There's a way to do it, and I figured it out earlier when I was testing this game, because I got to this level already, but I can't remember now. How to... Uh oh That's not good. No! Shit! I knew that guy was going to come back and bite me in the ass. As long as we pass through the doorway, it's fine. So that's a way to avoid them. Because I only have to kill one of them. I can't jump, right? There's a way to do this, though. God damn it. I cannot figure it out, though. I might have to go read the... I might have to, I might have to cheat and read the manual. the magical quest. The Game Boy game. Oh, for fuck's sake. That's put Bugs Bunny. It's the same game. I just need you to tell me how to grab the damn rope. Two. Yeah, so this is a Chemco game. Uh, oh, I guess in the Bugs Bunny one, it's Honey Bunny. Uh, yep. It doesn't tell me how to play. How do I grab the rope? Just tell me how to grab the rope. Why is this so hard? I don't, I don't understand. I did it before. It won't 
won't give me anything about Mickey Mouse or Bugs Bunny. I just need to learn how to grab the rope, guys. I remember if I put how to play instead. Nope. No. None of this helps me. All right. Don't know. None of this helps. I guess I just have to figure it out on my own somehow through trial and friggin' error. Ah! How did I do that? Wait, how did that work? Shit. You saw him grab it, right? Did I press down? Why would I press down? Down makes no sense. No, that was just down. Very confused. I definitely grabbed it just then. Oh, what are you doing? See, I'm pressing down and he walks forward though, which is a bit odd. I'm gonna figure this out one of these days. I sort of got us pressing down just then. I don't understand. I feel like you should just walk across, or I mean, grab it like automatically, right? Because I can't jump. There's no jump button. Well, we may stop here, guys. Once I figure out how to. Get across a fucking rope. I remember I had this problem when I was testing this as well. But I did figure it out then. And I could do it semi-consistently. Because I don't have a lot of buttons, right? No. Like, there's no, like, at least on those doors, it tells you to go up or down, right? And you press up to go to a... Like, it feels like up should be the right way. sends me left. And so does down. Or I guess it sends me whatever direction I happen to be going. And just going straight, you know, just going left doesn't help either. So whether I'm pressing down or up, it sends me in the direction that I'm facing. Like so, right? Yeah. How did you get it before? I don't understand. I definitely grabbed it. Do I have to press left and then immediately press up or something? Or down, even? Alright, let's try that. So I'm going to be on the edge here. Nope, that didn't work. Alright, let's try up. We'll press left and then immediately press up. Let's go down with the tutorial. Nope, that didn't work either. I don't know, man. Is it B? Is it A? Try 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 some B or A. Nope, not B. Try pressing A, and if not, we're gonna quit it. I couldn't find it online. If you guys figure it out, let me know. Why was the first puzzle? I, I swear to God, I, I figured this out because I did it. I was able to finish this, uh, this level before when I was testing. And I didn't have trouble last time. I don't have a, I don't have a, I don't have a booklet either. Even if I did, it would be in Japanese. how I 
I did this, how to do this, and how I did it before, and then fell off. No other button does anything. Is it select? It is select! What? Back, buddy. Quickly, quickly now. Oh, come on. Thank you. So apparently, I just I just learned this. level has eight keys. Select! Select helps you get on the ropes. Oh my god. We will save it here. Uh, we will save save here, in fact. There we go. Return to the main menu. Okay. We have two games left. Both of them I just got in um, in KL, in Kuala Lumpur. So, uh, there we go. All right, here's where, here's where we're going to decide. It's going to be one or the other. This is the last time you're going to see this wheel. It's RoboCop 2! There it is. RoboCop 2. All right. Let me go change that. started this video I tested both of these games because these are my newest games all right Robocop 2 here we go oh okay it's right at the beginning that's good so uh, I've only ever played Robocop uh, 1 on the NES and I wasn't particularly good at it Officer OCP-001, a disturbance by Kane's gang has been reported. They have control of an ED-209 unit. You 
must disable them. Okay. What are you? Oh. about to die, I just realized. I have two hearts left. Death. Well, that's hard. Oh no! Oh, I shot him. I shot the guy I was supposed to save. That gave me more health. Cool. Oh, stop shooting the guys! Idiot. Careful of water. Jumping is very floating. Oh no. Not bad, just floating. Shoot him in the foot. Until he dies. We made it. And we only saved like two guys. You have estimated 38% of the nuke smugglers in there. Nuke smugglers. <laughs> oh, you have not arrested the nuke smugglers. You must return to the stop to stop the spread of the nuke. Okay. All right. So I have to kill as many of those guys as possible. Then I can't just like. Not shoot these poor bastards. But I can't go backwards, so ah, I died. Never get a hundred percent. I don't know what that was. Whoa, what? Oh, I got a better gun, is it? Oh no. Another death. Fuck's 
Sí. It's mocking me. All right, let's try a little bit. Let's try that again. We technically got to the end of the first level, but we didn't beat it, obviously. Let's try that again. to these guys because oh. oh come on absolute horseshit straight down here. Oh, what? God. This game is something else, man. Wave is a bad idea. No! Why would you go in the water? Alright, that's it, we're done. This is a hard game. Uh, I'm gonna have to. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's a hard game. All right, all right. Last game is Spider Man and the X Men uh, Arcade's Revenge, which I assume will play exactly the same as Genesis version. But uh, man, it's hard. There it is. Okay. So this is it. This is the last game that I have here on Game Boy because we couldn't do Star Trek, unfortunately. Uh, I'll try, you know what, I'll try Star Trek again after after we do some of this. Where, where'd it go? There it is. Okay. Just to give it one more shot. Like I said, we do know it works because it works on the, uh, it works on the, uh, another LJ, uh, LJ in you. It works on the, uh, on the pocket, no problem. Spidey has tracked the missing X-Men to the hideout of his old nemesis, Arcade. But in order to break them out, he must first break in. Okay. Get ready, Spider-Man. All right. So this is exactly the same. Well, I say exactly, but I gotta find those things. And I gotta find them in order. Ah. Oh, I see it. Okay. the walls, but I can't, uh, oops. but I have to time, not time them, where's the next one, is it down, yes, so it, my, my, let's see, Spider-Man, Straight up, apparently. There it is. Ah! Is that a timer? Thing, don't I? No! Stop it. No! How the hell? Do I have? I don't seem to have a uh, tiny web. supposed to do here guys nope that was the that wasn't even a button nope I have to go in from inside maybe I don't think so no, that's it. That's yeah. I gotta go that up there, because then that way takes me into the into the rest of the level. I remember this. But I also kind of remember there being webs that I could shoot. Like I should be able to swing off of that. Aha! How did I do that? Ah. There we go. 
I gotta get all these coming down. Yep. There we go. Okay. We figured it out, guys. Not here. It's a bit mazy. Why? this this section nope it's the bottom section just out of curiosity oh it's the same section is it Spidey level. That's how we're gonna end this, this this video by defeating this. Okay. All right. Now we're done with this. Oh, I see you. I see you, buddy. Okay, so it's the last one, it's the last one. Alright, good. So yeah, this is playing very similarly to uh, the Genesis uh, version. Which makes sense, it is supposed to be the same game after all. Boom! Yeah! Well done, Spider-Man. Once inside, Spider-Man quickly discovers the shackled X-Men, but as he begins to release them, he hears the voice of Arcade over the loudspeaker. Welcome, Spider-Man. I'm so glad you could make it. Your presence is an honor I hadn't planned on, but rest assured, there's plenty of fun for everyone. So let the games begin. So now I get to choose one. So I choose a, a, a as you know, choose a, a a hero, and then they have their own uh, level to get through. So Wolverine, Gambit, uh, Storm, 
Cyclops, Spider-Man. So let's do a little bit of Cyclops before I end. Uh, I'm not going to get through this. I've never ever beaten any of these levels, even in the Genesis one. Those are some slow moving bullets, guys. Oh, nice. Nice, I can direct my... Oh, I died. Why did I die? That was weird, so don't get those things apparently. Ow! Oh, okay, falling from a great height uh, hurts. <laughs> That's what it was. Also, I got spiked in the head. I don't know if you guys noticed that. Also, I like that uh, in this ver in this game, you don't get penalized uh, for using your mutant power, like you do in other X-Men games. Like, there's no. There's no like, oh, you can only use it until the, the, the thing runs out or whatever. Like, no, you can use it as many times as you want. Oh, okay. Oh, I can't touch that. All right, one more time. <laughs> we're learning, we're learning. jump it how do i jump that all right game over it's fine so there you go we saw oh, let me try let me try star trek one more time we did say i was gonna try i did say i was gonna try star trek one more time all right uh return to me me all of these games are pretty fun even superman uh which i thought maybe i wasn't gonna like so much because i'd heard bad things but they were all pretty fun um yeah uh, maybe robocop 2 is a bit too difficult i don't know maybe i just Maybe I just need more time to like figure it out and stuff, right? But let me let me give um, let me give uh, uh, Star Trek one more shot on the Retron Five and see if it works and see if we can play a little bit of it uh, before we end this video. No, nope, still says unknown cartridge. It seems to load it and then and then it stops. Maybe this is just one of the cartridges that the Retro 5 doesn't recognize, right? Like, it doesn't play Gargoyles for the Genesis either. Um, so maybe that's it. Maybe it just doesn't play nice with this particular cart, uh, which is very annoying. Very, very annoying. But, like I said, I can still play it on the... Um, on the... Uh, on the pocket. Maybe, maybe I'll do that sometime in the future. I'll just play it on the pocket. Maybe when we do, uh, maybe someday in the near future, I will do a uh, Genesis, uh, or not Genesis, sorry, Game Gear. Um, and maybe I'll use the pocket for those games. And then I can start with this one just to, you know, just to play it a little bit. Um, because I can, I, can, uh, I can stream off the pocket as well. And I can use a, a controller like this, but I think I got a different one for it. I don't remember what I got for it. But I got oh, yeah, no, there it is, yeah. So a controller, uh, another 8-bit dope controller, and I can use it, I've already paired it, so I can use it, I can stream it, I can put it on the TV and I can stream it. Um, so maybe I'll do that next time. But anyway, that's that's sometime far in the future. Maybe when, I, maybe when I'm in in, uh, in the US and I do videos for that, maybe I'll do that. But there you go, I hope you enjoyed that. That was a bunch of uh, Game Boy games. Um, and um, eight, I think to be exact, not counting uh, Star Trek, I think it was eight games. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight different games. Uh, again, games that I got in the past year or so uh, from different places around the world uh, I'd have to go back and check my check my my uh, my my what my posts 
to see where I got each one because I don't remember. And maybe I'll put it in the in the description of the video so you can know exactly where I got each one because I, I have honestly forgotten. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for hanging out. Thanks for watching this video. And I hope you enjoyed it. And hopefully we've been uh, discussing things over here in the chat. Um, and there's going to be one more video coming up on Sunday. I still haven't quite decided what I'm going to do on that day. I was thinking about maybe doing another roulette. Uh, maybe that time, maybe that one for like Genesis and Master System games, but um, maybe not. Maybe I'll do something else instead. Um, I got a couple, you know, I've got a bunch of other new games that I can that I can play. Maybe I can go back and play some of the games that I played before, like Trek to Yomi or Signalis. Um, I'm literally looking at my my games over here to see what I can, or you know, something something else that's new. Do something on the PS3. I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet. I'll figure something out. But it'll be a video on Sunday. Um, that I will hopefully, actually there might not be a video at all because I'm, I'm actually running out of time to record. So hopefully I can record later today or tomorrow uh, before we fly um, one more one more uh, video. Um, we'll all find out together. <laughs> uh, on Tuesday, uh, Felicia and I are back from Korea, hopefully with a bunch of new games, uh, but we'll be playing Dredge that evening. And maybe I'll show off some of the new games that I got in Korea. Um, and then on Wednesday, uh, for Dan Placer's Backlog, I'm playing Sakura Wars, the PS4 uh, sort of reboot um, for that particular series. It's a long-running series, but, this, but the one for the PS4 was a slight reboot, I believe, of the whole series. And then on Thursday, I'm continuing uh, Zelda II, The Adventure of Link. Uh, I did two palaces the last time I played, and it's only going to get harder. I, I may have to look up a guide, because I think I've missed a bunch of stuff. I have to find a mirror, I have to find a hammer, I haven't found either of those two things. So I might have to do that, figure out where the heck to go. Uh, and then I need to also play, oh, uh, not play, and then on the following Sunday um, is, uh, we're finally Felicia and I will be returning to, um, to uh, Coffee Talk Episode 2, which we only played once and then had a bunch of traveling and all that travel keeps being on Sundays. So it'll be like a month since we last played it. Uh, but we'll be streaming that the following Sunday, a week from this Sunday, which will be a video. Uh, so yeah, thanks so much. And I will see all of you very soon. And you will hopefully see me one more time if I can, if I have time to do one more video. Bye-bye.